What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Series figure review. So in today's video guys, we have two brand new figures from WWE Elite Series 59. Kurt Angle, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, and Zack Ryder, one of my current favorite wrestlers wrestling in the company. And I am so excited for both of these figures. We are long overdue for an updated Zack Ryder, and we are long overdue for a bald-headed Kurt Angle Elite. I feel like this figure should have been made way long ago. I believe it was due to contract stuff that we could never get it. But um, they threw in some awesome accessories for both of these guys. And, um, you know, we've had our, our long-haired Kurt Angle or our, you know, early-run Kurt Angle. And now we have one from the Ruthless Aggression era when he was on top of WWE and just killing it. And I am just super duper excited to get into both of these things, guys. If you would like to pick either of these figures up, you can do so at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. But now that that's squared away, guys, let's crack these hoes open. So here we have both figures out of the packaging looking freaking fantastic, man. My God, I love this Kurt Angle to death. I have a few uh, concerns about this jacket right here, but we'll get into that. I added the WWE Championship from the Ruthless Aggression Era because it really completes this figure, man. This figure is one of the best figures I think Mattel has ever released. I really love the Zack Ryder as well. The only thing I'm having an issue with is obviously the rubber jacket, but um, I feel like the head may sit a little too low on the torso. It's like, um, I don't know, I think it needs to sit just a little bit higher, but I still love the figure. I love the, uh, the body mold. It's finally time that they gave us a legit Zack Ryder body mold instead of the freaking like Daniel Bryan style looking just have you ever seen Zack Daddy I mean there's a reason uh, they call him Zack because he's absolutely jacked I mean the dude is freaking ripped up and um, I'm glad they actually you know took that into account this time with his figure but what we're gonna do now is get into Zack Ryder's accessories and then cover Zack Ryder and then we'll cover Kurt Angle's accessories and then Kurt Angle so let's go ahead and hit it so getting into Zack Ryder's accessories guys we have this jacket that he wore at Battleground and I like this jacket. I wish it was cloth. And I know that Ralph's figure clothing has a cloth version. I don't think it's for Zack Ryder, but it's for uh, uh, Sting, Great American Bash Sting. So I believe you can get that. You know, it won't be accurate all the way, but it'll be close enough. You know, you have the Zack Ryder logos on the back. Um, and I like this jacket a lot. I just wish that it was cloth, man. It really, it, he's just sitting there with his arms out, and I just don't like that. I'm going to have Zack Daddy wearing something different. And then we have these sick AF shades. As you see there, you got the star and the blue on the right shade. Uh, your left and then on the right side you have the stripes there and they're just basic white sunglasses and I like these a lot they fit the figure well so um, you get some shades and a nice jacket so taking a closer look at Zack Daddy right here guys we have this head scan that we have seen multiple times in the past you know we saw this with the uh, battle pack with Mojo Raleigh we have seen it on another basic I believe it was one of just the random basic series in the Wrestlemania 32 attire and I like this head scan a lot I think that it does resemble Zack uh, Zach Ryder I think that it may be a tad bit cartoony but I think it does capture his likeness and this is what I'm talking about just see the head just may sit a little low on that torso if I'm not mistaken you can't really tell from the side but when you get up front you can definitely tell um, I still like the figure though going down you have this new uh, mold that we have not seen on Zack Ryder before which we'll get into in a second we have these great uh, arms right here I would actually have these arms a bit bigger um, I think that Zack Ryder deserves bigger arms. You got the red, white, and blue wrist tape going down and the Ultimate Warrior inspired attire. Zack Ryder logos on the white trunks. You guys know how I am about white with some accents. This is freaking beautiful. Got the woo, woo, woo on the back with the American flag in there looking fantastic. Gave him some Zacked legs right here. Got the Randy Orton style mold on there looking fantastic. Black tape behind the knees. Love these knee pads. I think these are great. And then we have the Sting style boots which look great and these are the style that he was wearing on that night. I do believe that he had the ZR logos on there but you know what? Mattel doesn't always give us all the accuracy. So here we have Zack Ryder up to some of his other figures. And you gotta add the Ultimate Warrior Inspire. So here he is up next to his basic head scan that we've said we've seen before. And actually when you take a look at it, it may be a tad bit different. I feel like the newer one may be a bit wider um, and more accurate. But you know, uh, 
Yeah, I think this one actually captures his likeness a little bit more. It's not very telling, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks a bit wider and nicer. And here we have the new Elite 59 up next to Zack Ryder's first Elite, and that is the Elite 9. And you can see what I'm talking about. We actually had a later series Zack Ryder that had the same body mold. You think that Zack Ryder looks like this? You think that Zack Ryder's torso looks like this, Mattel? Yes! Yeah! Yeah, you're full of bullshit. Alright, this is just definitely, I still love this figure, I love the attire, I think it's unique, I like the head scan a lot, I think it looks just like him, love the headband and everything, but this does not look like Zack Ryder's torso. Also love these boots, freaking nice. Here we have him up next to my custom Zack Ryder, and I use the uh, Elite 17, I believe, head scan, uh, yeah, this one looks more like him, but I like this hair better, I like this beard, because it's actually sculpted on there by BEW, and I like this torso for Zack Ryder, just, you know, works well for him, I like these arms too, just gives him more of a Zacked look, and uh, I like the skin tone more here, I think he should have the Dolph Ziggler skin tone, you know, he's, he's tan, man, he looks good. And here he is up next to Ultimate Warrior, and you can obviously see the, uh, the similarities there between the tights and the wristbands and the knee pads, totally inspired by Ultimate Warrior. And um, I love this Zack Ryder, and I love this Ultimate Warrior figure, even though I'm not the biggest Ultimate Warrior fan. So for Kurt Angle's accessories, you get a very sick cloth jacket, and it's like this felt material, you know, it's like real grippy, like this thing will attach hair and all kinds of stuff, so you gotta be careful not to get any hair or any debris on there. But it's very, very nice, it's his Team Angle jacket that he wore when he was leading Team Angle with Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas, the world's greatest tag team. And this is very, very nice, you have the uh, stars going down both sleeves. Team Angle logo on the front and back. It's hooded. It's very nice. I think it's a tad too big, and I actually have my own version of the Team Angle jacket that we'll take a comparison look in just a second. But you always get his medals. So you get Kurt Angle's medals here, as you see. We've had these before. We had the uh, the green version, the ones that he wore at the Olympics in 1996 that came with his entrance greats figure, and I like these a lot more. Um, these aren't the official ones he won, but I think they look a lot better with his attire. You know, the red, white, and blue straps on these medals look amazing and I love these accessories a lot. They just fit the figure so freaking well and it's a nice touch to go with the jacket. So here's a difference in uh, my jacket on the left and the one from Mattel on the right. I'm going to put it on the Kurt Angle figure and you guys tell me which one looks better down in the comment section below. So here's a shot of the Kurt Angle with my custom jacket on there giving you a full 360. And here's a shot of Mattel's on there. As you see, I just feel like it may be a tad too big. Um, I like I like the accessory though. Like if I didn't have my custom one, I would definitely let this one fly. But the one uh, when you compare this one to my custom one, I think my custom one may be a little bit big, better, better. And I also have a blue one. I'm blue. And now that I'm looking at the blue one, bro, I really, really love the blue. I think it really looks nice. I may have to pick up like 60 of these Kurt Angles, though. I'm freaking loving this figure, man. I am, I am freaking loving it. So taking a closer look at Kurt Angle, guys, this head scan is brand new. A lot different than the basic series Raw GM Kurt Angle we've gotten. I love this head scan. I think it does capture it. I think the final product, just like the uh, prototype of the entrance greats, I think the final product does a lot better. Um, I didn't care for this head scan that much when I first saw it, but now seeing it in person, it really does look nice. I'd like a better serious head scan, but this one still just does great wonders. I love the uh, body choice they chose. I know a lot of people were complaining about the entrance grates, but now that this one's released, I don't hear it really anything. I think that... Uh Kurt Angle's been jacked pretty much his entire WWE and WWF career, so I think this works nicely. I don't think you could really change it up very much before you get too small. I, I really love this singlet, the Team Angle singlet like we discussed before when he was running around with Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. This is freaking beautiful. I cannot believe we actually have this in Mattel figure form. There's a shot of the back, got his tattoo up here. Again, love the parts choice with the arms. And just, man, this is one of my favorite angle attires. So seeing it here in the flesh, this is fantastic. Love the knee pads. Of course, he did wear the larger ones. And then he has the red boots. And what the hell? <laughs> Look at that little scuffage right there. Oh, my God. Mattel meant to do this. Yes! But this is a freaking beautiful figure, guys. I love this thing so much. This is probably up there with the DM Chris Jericho for me. I think this is damn near a perfect figure. I really don't have any complaints besides the size of the jacket. So here we have some Kurt Angle figure comparisons. 
Awesome. So here's comparing Mattel's Elite 59 versus BEW's Custom He Made Me, and I love both of these. I actually saw it where somebody took this head scan and put it on this body, and it looked great. So um, I may do that just to see what it looks like, but these figures, dude, these, both of these, I love both of these Kurt Angles. I will never get enough of the Kurt Angles. Maybe we'll get um, official Mattel in this attire. I hope they pump out more of them because I love Kurt Angles. I want the SummerSlam, you know the SummerSlam basic we got in the pinstripe attire? I want that in freaking elite form, and I know that um, I, I want a final product of that. So I, I just want to see them make that one. So Bill, if you're watching, Mattel, if you're watching, go ahead and make that one for Trey from My Damn Toys. That'll make him I'm very happy. Here's the new Elite 59 up next to my custom from Showstopper Custom Figs. And I really like my custom from Showstopper, but I would love, again, if Mattel would make this one in final product. I didn't think we'd ever get a Kurt Angle, so I went ahead and made my own. But now that we have them, man, let's go ahead and just pump them out, guys. Let's make every Kurt Angle possible. One thing I want to add real quick is I want these boots right here made in Mattel figure form. My favorite WWE wrestling boots I've ever seen besides Dolph Ziggler. Bret Hart is also up there. I love these boots so much. They're very nostalgic. I want to see these made in Mattel final product. I know that Joey and BW did a great job on them, but I'd like to see what Mattel does if they were to make these boots. And here we have both Mattel final products up next to each other. We got, we have the start of Kurt Angle's career versus the middle and the prime of his career. And both of these figures are fantastic. Again, like I said, I just, I, I want to load up the Kurt Angles, man. I, I want the timeline done like the John Cena and the Randy Ortons and the Triple H's and the Jericho's. I want to line this hoe up. I want to have like 80 of them. So that is probably what we're going to shoot for, guys. America, fuck yeah. That about does it for both of these figures reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching. I went ahead and recruited Zack Ryder to join Team Angle. I actually like the way this figure looks with that Team Angle jacket on. I don't know why. It just looks so fresh. Plus, he's holding the American flag. America, fuck yeah. So yes, guys, again, if you would like to pick either of these figures up, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use a promo code MDTOYS. You will save yourself 10%. Overall, I think both of these figures are fantastic, especially the Kurt Angle. If you're a big, you know, Ruthless Aggression fan of wrestling, if you love Zack Ryder, you got to pick both of these things up. Um, they are definitely both a must for me. I had to grab both of them. I would literally give the Kurt Angle a 9 out of 10, or probably a 10 out of 10, honestly. And then the Zack Ryder, I'd probably give a 7 or 8 out of 10. I just think that head sits a little bit too low to give it a perfect score, but it is a damn nice figure. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed either of these figures or you enjoyed the review. It really helps out the channel when you, you know, watch the videos all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. America, fuck yeah.